we will be discussing the topic of excessive daytime sleepiness in patients with Parkinson's disease. Excessive daytime sleepiness is very common in the disease. Up to tw more than 20% of the patients will report that problem, obviously significantly impacting their quality of life, ability to perform their daily activities, ability to function at work. So first, let's discuss where does that come from and what are the common manifestations. By the nature of the term, excessive daytime sleepiness stands for reduced level of alertness, sleepiness, and sometimes frank falling asleep in unpredictable situations. Where do the problems come from? The nature of this problem is complex and multifactorial. First of all, Parkinson's disease by itself can predispose the patients to that excessive sleepiness. Parkinson's medications, essentially majority of them, can increase and exacerbate daytime sleepiness. That will be relevant to all dopaminergic medications. However, the class of dopamine agonists are more prone to cause excessive daytime sleepiness compared to levodopa replacement therapy, which you frequently know under the brand name of Cinemet or the other classes of medications. And obviously, if someone has poor quality of sleep at night, they will be more prone to be sleepy during the day. The common complaints that the patients will come in with, I don't feel alert, I feel sleepy. Sometimes they will come in with a uh, description of the episodes of Frank falling asleep in unpredictable situations. And obviously, the greatest danger is when they're involved in the activities that require their full alertness. Obviously, driving is at the top of the list. A condition known as sudden onset sleep, also referred as sleep attacks, was first described to be associated with Parkinson's disease about 10 years ago. All of the patients who reported that condition in the first uh, case study were treated with dopamine agonists, either Mirapax or Equip. Since then, there has been a substantial body of literature pointing to a couple of very important observations. First of all, that sudden onset sleep is rare manifestation of excessive daytime sleepiness. Approximately 2% of the patients in large cohort observational studies reported that syndrome. Again, extremely important to communicate to the physician and to let the physician discuss the nature of the syndrome, review the medications, and advise the patient on a appropriate plan of action. Majority of the patients will have that overall sensation of sleepiness, which can go last for the whole of the day, or sometimes occur at the peak of the effect of their medications, when the level of medicine in the blood is at the highest level. Again, depending on the pattern of the symptoms, depending on how much they interfere with the functional activities, the physicians will take different strategies. Returning back to the approach to management, first and foremost, it is accurate identification of the problem and communicating with your physician. Physicians will take the history, frequently will administer a brief questionnaire that is called APWIT Sleepiness Scale. That is an accurate screening tool to assess the degree of sleepiness in any condition not specific for Parkinson's disease, frequently used in patients with Parkinson's uh, disease. Once the condition is identified, the physician will review the patient's medications and advise on the treatment adjustment. As I have mentioned, all Parkinson's medications can predispose to excessive sleepiness. However, the class of Dotman agonists, and these are the medications that include Mirapax, Requip, 
nuclear patch are more prone to cause sleepiness. So if that's the case, then the physician might advise to adjust the medicine to reduce the dose of medication or substitute it with another medication. Outside of the realm of Parkinson's medications, there are a lot of medicines that patients take for other reasons that can contribute to sleepiness. So that polypharmacy very frequently is one of the major causes of sleepiness. Patients might be taking sedating medicine for some other reason, might be taking painkillers. All of these medications can make someone prone to sleepiness during the day. So the first and foremost is to review the whole list of medications, not simply restricted to the Parkinson's medicine and to what I frequently call clean up the list to the bare minimum, to the essential medications that you require for management of your medical conditions. Maintaining good sleep habits is very important to maintain alertness during the day. And obviously, sleepiness, while it interferes with quality of life, the major risk is any injurious behavior, specifically with a condition of sudden onset sleep. Driving is an important function that all of us have. In order to drive, the person needs to maintain alertness. So if someone has problems with excessive sleepiness, should be discussed with a physician. And physician would advise on the level of comfort and if the person should refrain from driving at least until the time the sleepiness issues resolve and are appropriately managed.